Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jazzland Second Life, where I'm all about decor and landscaping in Second Life. And I wanted to do a quick intro to these older videos because I want to show you how I use my CTS wardrobe for my decor and my landscaping items so that I can catalog them and see them all very, very quickly and very find them easily in my inventory. But I didn't want to have to go through setting one up again because you can only have one CTS wardrobe per avatar. So I needed to use my older stuff from when I first got my wardrobe in 2020 in order to show how I bought it, set it up, and all that good kind of stuff and used it for my other items. So if you already have one and you know how to use it, feel free to skip other older ones <laughs> to get straight into the new things that I'm going to show you with landscape and decor. But if you've never used CTS wardrobe, this is a good introduction to it, at least to show you kind of how I use mine and how to get it set up. All right, enjoy and make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, now we are on video seven. So we just added the um, Lola Bunny sneakers, those little bunny sneakers right there we just added those to the wardrobe so now we're going to take the pants the shirt and the hair and get that in the wardrobe too and we do it with the same method where we're going to be able to save the image of each of these so let's do inventory inventory and I need to find let's do the pants pants that's my outfit that's not what I want this is what I have on. So let me close the search. There it is. Okay, so I have these on right now. And in the folder, I have the cargo pants HUD, the cargo pants themselves, and then the image. So let's start by taking a picture of, taking a picture, by saving the image. All right, so there's my image. I'm gonna save it. It's a PNG. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that and upload it. That'll work. File saved. So I can close that. So I've got my image. Now I need to open a new window because I want to put this in my RLV folder. So we'll come to RLV and we'll come to shoes. <laughs> just kidding. These aren't shoes. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you're paying attention. And let's see. We're going to go to clothing. And I have no folders yet. So under clothing, I need to make a new folder for Tetra. Tetra. Alright, so there's my Tetra folder. And I'm going to take this whole folder and I'm going to move it into Tetra. And there it is. Now, this name is the one of the item that needs to match when we go over um, into wardrobe. I keep turning, don't I? So, let's go over to wardrobe. And we, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that tag. So it's still there, my items. What happens when I do show all? There's my items. We're going to import, we're going to upload an image. I'm going to get my image from here. There's my Tetra cargo. It uploaded it here. Okay, this is the name that has to match exactly the title. So I know for a fact that I have other cargo pants in my inventory, but those cargo pants have a name in front of them that's not the creator so for now I'm just gonna put cargo pants and then well let me back up one so this is cargo pants and of course we need to change all of the tags because that's not right so the creator do that little squiggly thing see how it brings up what I've already put in there that's what's gonna make this easier in the long run who's the creator the creator is Tetra comma, and these are um, pants, 
kind of pants are they? Cargo pants. Um, these I can actually put a color with because they're blue. That's the only color I have. So for my colors, I'm going to use these little squiggly bracket things. And these are blue. So then I'll be able to find them easily. I think that's all we're going to do for me. The creator, the pants, their cargo pants, and they're blue. I'm going to leave all this the same. I'm not going to worry about any remarks. And I'm going to hit submit. Submit. Did it do it? Did it do it? Ha! Oh, there it is. I'm going to close that now so at this point I've got my image here but put on cargo pants now let me show you what happens I'm going to do the wear dialog it says it has the main folder but I know that this name cargo pants is not the same over here so let me come over here and I want it to, it might just be looking for the basic name, but I need to make sure it's the exact same name. So here I'm just going to put cargo pants and hit enter and rename it. The other thing we need to do is we need a folder, a subfolder here for the HUD, and we need a subfolder here for the pants themselves. So let's do one for HUD and take the head and move it in there and then let's make another folder for just cargo pants well I better not do that let's just do pants nope let's do cargo pants just kidding <laughs> these names don't matter it's this name that matters the most because that's where it's gonna find it I do believe we're about to find out though all right so let's go back over to wardrobe and see if it got my subfolders it did it did it did so now if i just want to wear the pants and i don't want the hud attached i can do that but let's say i want to see the hud so if i click hud it says wearing succeeded so that means when i come back over i should have the hud for the pants on is it on there it is all right so i got my head going and we are good so i'm gonna right click detach the hood and then let's move on close that up let's move on and do the top so what's this top oh it's a Ashley, Ashley, Ashley Tank, there it is, lavender, light pink, the white one, that's the one I have on. So there is my Ashley Tank, oh let me open another window, there we go. There's my Ashley Tank, let me open my RLB. So, I'm gonna open up, move this over here. I'm going to open up the image. I'm going to save it as a PNG. Ping! I'm just going to save it that way. I think. Yes, we are cooperating. Yes, we are. File saved. Ding, ding, ding. Success. And then I want to come over to clothing. And this is a... What is this? Pink cream pie. So we're gonna add a new folder for this creator. Cream pie. Whoa! Let me capitalize that. All right, and I'm going to drag this entire folder over here and open that up. And we know we're gonna have to rename that. So this PCP stands for the pink cream pie. So I know I don't need that. Let me rename it. We'll rename it here. Um, I don't need the color because I can put that in my tag or I might because I have different ones hmm this will be interesting 
Ashley Tank. I wonder if I can put them all in. No, I better keep them separate. We'll keep them separate for now. So let's do Ashley Tank. I will put white for the name. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my subfolders because I know I'm gonna need them. So what do I have? I have a hood and then I have the shirt and then I have the texture and then this is an information card. So I'm gonna delete that because I don't really need that. All right, so let's make a folder for the HUD and then drag the HUD in there and then let make a folder for da -da -da -da. Uh, the tank top, right? And then we're going to drag this into there. All right, so there's our subfolders. So this is the name that needs to be i'm not actually going to rename i'm just going to copy it copy the name all right so now let's go over to wardrobe and add this in there all right so we're going to import upload an image let me get my images up there it is right there drag it there Okay, and then I'm going to change the name. This needs to match the one from the folder, so I'm going to delete it and I'm going to paste the exact same name. Of course, we're going to redo our tags. The creator is King Cream Pie, comma, and this is a obviously it's a top, so we'll put top. What kind of top is it? It's tank top. Okay, that should do it. And then I want to put my color, which I know is in the name, but I want to tag it with the color so that if I search the tag white, it'll come up when I search the tag. Right? Creator, it's top, tank top, and it's white. That should be good enough. Let's hit submit and see what happens. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. And then you can see over here, I have tags top, tippy toe, it's doing it by letter. Shoes, pants, which has cargo pants in it right now. Flat is a tag. And then here's my creators right here. So if I have an outfit, I'm like, oh my gosh, I know it came from Tetra. I can click on this tag and it'll show me everything that's in here that came from Tetra, as long as I tag them. All right, so there is the shirt. Let's do the hair and we'll be done. Let's do the hair. Why do I have to sing everything? I don't know, but I like it. Okay. It's because I'm musical. That's why. So now, let's go to hair. Well, if that's where I'll be. Where's my hair? Where's my hair? There's my hair. This is actually wasabi hair. The melon mesh hair. There it is. All right, so I'm wearing this, and as you can see, we've got an alpha layer, the hair, a styling and sizing HUD, and then this is actually the color HUD. FLF is 50 Linden Friday. There's our picture, there's a landmark, which I don't need the landmark, and this is instructions, which I don't need, and I actually don't need the alpha layer either, so I'm gonna delete that. All right, now, here we go. So in the hair folder, we're gonna do it by creator. Cause as you can see, I have tons of truth hair. So let's make a new folder over here. And it's gonna be wasabi. Wasabi, not much wasabi with you. All right. So I've got this and I'm gonna go ahead and move this folder over there. So I know I'm putting it into Okay, good. So now I've got it in here. Mm -mm -mm. Now let's make our subfolders. So what do we have? We have the HUD. Actually, I'm just going to make one HUD folder. And that way, if I put both of the HUDs in there, whenever I click HUD, it'll put both of them on, which will be good. 
and then I'm gonna make the folder for the hair itself so let's just say hair and drag the hair in there I'm gonna drag my hair alright now so this is set up in inventory side now let's open this and let's save it as a PNG I'll just save it with that name why am I thinking there was a musical group named Melon? Blind Melon, wasn't it? Didn't they have some weird song? I don't know, I'll look it up later. Okay, so I saved that. So let's go over into our wardrobe. We're gonna import, we're gonna upload the image. Let's go over here. Let me grab my image. This is definitely going faster now. I'm getting a little bit better at it. Okay. I don't have to put um, wasabi in there because it's going to be, so let's do, let's just call it melon. Is that what I called it over here? It has to match, right? No, I didn't. Okay, so this folder we're going to call it, we're going to rename it, and we're just going to call it melon. <laughs> it's the wasabi melon hair. Wasabi. I like to say that word. It's fun. Okay, so it's the melon hair. Let's get rid of our tags. The creator is Wasabi. <laughs> and let's see. What kind of hair is this? Um, we're going to say it's not really a ponytail. Uh, let's say hair to mid length. Hair mid. Um, we'll just say hair in mid. That should be good enough, right? And then it's got multiple colors, so I don't have to worry about colors. I guess that'd be good enough for now, right? I can always edit my tags later. Alright. Submit. Bam! So there's the hair. And if I look over here in my tags, there's the hair. Mid-length hair. I think that'll help me. Because I usually go by, is it pigtails, ponytail, middle length, long length. That's how I'm probably going to do my hair. Like I said, it could change at any moment. Alright, so let's show the where dialog. Look, there's my folders, so I know that it got it successfully. Take this outfit up. I wonder if I click on hair. Well, first of all, let's add the hood says wearing succeeded so let's see what happened look there's the style head and there's the color head so that worked so I know it's connecting what if I do what if I click on it again will it take it off we're about to find out no it's still on <laughs> My bad, just thought I'd check. Can I take off the hair? This is to add it. What if I do remove? So, can I take off my hair? It should take off my hair. Let's see what happens. Oh, I have no hair. I have no hair. I have a hair base. So, my hair is gone. So, let's put it back on. What do I want to wear? I want to wear the hair. Wearing succeeded. Let's see if that's true. Do I have hair? Oh, my hair is back. So there you go. Everything's working. So we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Let me see. Yep, shoes, pants, top, and hair. So there you go. Huh, that took a minute, but actually it took like 18 minutes. But there you go. So now we've added my whole outfit in there and that's how you do it so I'd say that was pretty good all right on to the next video we'll see what's coming next peace out